We're going into the Lincoln State Monument here in Lincoln, New Mexico. Ma'am, can you help me? I know. No? This is the Montano store, which is a general store in the town of Lincoln. And apparently this store was neutral in the Lincoln County Wars. Okay, here's another one of those walls. This is 20 or 25 inches thick. The Montano store was one in four in Lincoln. With a town around 400 residents. The governor that made a deal with Billy the Kid, Governor Lou Wallace, he was the author of Ben-Hur. Okay, the truth is that he eventually sided with the Tunstall McSween faction of the Lincoln County War. So he tried to stay neutral, but didn't happen for very long. Thank you. Bye. But a lot of these buildings in Lincoln, New Mexico, are open to go in and look. But every, almost every one of these houses in this town is a historical site. So come join us. So this is the courthouse, huh? That's where the judge sat. Most of the uh, buildings in this town of Lincoln, New Mexico are part of the historical monument. So not sure. I would think it would be difficult to buy and sell property here just because you have all of the historical uh, rules that you would have to follow. Just saying. This is one of the earliest structures built here in Lincoln. It was built in the 1850s. I guess they let you go in there. It's cool in here. I bet. It has a little chimney. Check out that table and chair. Protection from the Apaches. Yeah. Go up the stairs. Look out. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Oh, look at the... It's made out of... Wow. Branches. Nice and cool in here. Mm-hmm. Like being in a cave. It is. It's like being in a cave. El Torreon, that means the keep. The keep. I guess that's... It's the keeper. It was the keeper of the Spanish-Americans. Keep, keep them safe? Yes. The Dolan House, that's where we're gonna try to go eat lunch. Should we walk on the crosswalk? Okay. Okay, this is the Tunstall store. Now it's a museum. And you have to have a ticket to get in here, so. No, this is going to be cool. This was Tunstall's living quarters. Look at that wall and the wallpaper. Mm, that is so cool. Look at the merchandise in this store. This is the merchandise that they found in the basement. After the state of New Mexico bought this store, child dresses. Look at these sacks. It's a sack, sack dispenser. Shoes. I think the store closed in 1957, and these are hammer axe handles. Crosses. We'll go out there in a minute, but that is where Tunstall's buried. Right behind his store. Ribbons. Look at all these buttons. Alex. McSween, 1878. 
and John Tunstall, 1878. They have quarters on here. I don't think these people were with him when he died. I don't think so. <laughs> That's funny. Funny, funny. Look at that sight. This is a historical mark, but it's not here any longer. <laughs> However, this is when the governor, Lou Wallace, met with Billy the Kid. Offered him a deal. And offered him a deal. Of course, that building's not here anymore, so. How do we know if that's even a true story? Well, the deal <laughs> fell through, too. That's right. And they didn't keep the deal with Billy the Kid, and he ended up being on the run again. And this is the Murphy Dolan store, built in 1874. Also known as the house. It's a pretty big house. Pretty big business. This is the old records vault. How cool is this? Oh, wow. Look at the floor. So this is going up the stairs. So legend has it that this hole was put here by the bullet from Billy the Kid, six shooter, when he escaped. So he was being held up there and he shot Oh, linger and Bell. Yeah. As he was coming down the stairs. Bell escaped through. Yeah, after he was shot. Huh. There you go. He died in the backyard. <laughs> so that is where J.W. Bell died. Killed by Billy the Kid. I wonder who did this shot. Do you know Billy the Kid? Ow. Ow. So we're at the cemetery right outside of Lincoln. And I wanted to stop here because I know that this is going to be a very old cemetery. And if you notice these crosses, like behind that store. But this is a Salazar and Eugenio, Eugenio Salazar. And it says Pal of Billy the Kid. And he died in 1936. So if you've ever seen the movie Young Guns, that movie was based on Billy the Kid and all the people that were decided to help out Mr. Tungstall. And they were known as the Regulators. Eugenio Salazar was one of the Regulators. But if you noticed all these graves right here, I'm into the cemeteries right now, can you tell? They're marked with rocks, but there's no name. So I'm assuming, here I go assuming again, these are probably a lot of people that died during the Lincoln County War. Mm -hmm.